who would have predicted that then? A 5 2 away from home at Chelsea. Um, cracking result, what can you say? Cracking performance. We, um, you know, right from the off, we looked up for it, um, which is a bit of a cliche, but I think we, we, we turned up and we looked, looked like we were, you know, not playing without fear, but we were willing to take the game to Chelsea, and lo and behold, that's exactly what we did. Um, of course, you have to be pragmatic at times in, away from home when you're a team in that position anyway. Um, but we, we we balanced that well with you know pressing them high up the pitch at times and 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 committing players to attack and you know it paid dividends. Um. What a game of football! It's difficult to know where to start. Um, but the the game kind of changed. Well, the game changed when they scored. Really, um, very very smart finish from the rebound from Pulisic, and then madness. Thiago Silva was sent off. Could have already gone for a denial of a goal scoring opportunity. Um, we've definitely seen that rule being implemented more harshly earlier in the season. But what a performance from Albion! What a crazy game that was. Um, it's Chelsea two, West Brom five. Did not think I would be saying that a couple of hours ago. Didn't think I'd be saying that at 1-0 down, to be honest. And then everything changed with the red card. Um, obvious red card. Yeah, silly, silly challenge from Silver. Um, yeah, what a, what a crazy game. It'd be, it'd be wrong to say that we didn't benefit from the sending off. Um, and we have been we have been you know guilty of perhaps throwing away guilt-edged chances this season. But we, we, took, out, we, took, we took them today. Um, I thought Pereira, um, who at the moment his playmaking ability is probably not shining through, um, I thought he took his goals really, really well. And I think you need a player like him when they're not necessarily creating, creating goals. They're 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 trying to take goals and, and take chances themselves, and that's exactly what he did. Um, Callum Robinson, who sat to wait for his opportunity, really haven't seen him for a few weeks. Um, comes into the team, comes off the bench today, and. And, and grabs two goals and two absolutely brilliant finishes as well. As was the I thought, you know, coming across and, 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 and stroking it across goal as he did. Another lovely finish and we were good value for the win today. Um, thoroughly deserved, uh, irrespective of Chelsea being down to 10 men. 10 men or not, like, to go against one of the big boys and turn that performance in is outstanding. I thought Pereira, De Anya, Robinson in that second half were... Phenomenal. Uh, Robinson, even before he got his two goals, sh just showed that what we miss with that pace up front. Um, Dianya got the goal he's been working so, so hard for as well. Um, really, really, really entertaining game. Was a little bit nervy when it was uh, when he went 4-1 to 4-2 because we all know what happened earlier in the season. Um, but really just... Just a breath of fresh air to have such a good performance after we've really, really struggled of late. I thought I thought it was quite bitty, really. There was lots of little incidents, lots of um, lots of little mini fouls in the middle of the pitch that weren't given, and referee as bad as Coot is, he sort of tried to let the the game flow, which was nice, uh, even though it struggled to at times in that first half. Um, but then second half, I think off the back of those two brilliant Pereira goals we we look to get the bit between our teeth get the ball down and play pass it sharply in the middle Yakuzlu and Maitland Niles linking up I think they've got a really good partnership going together in the middle of the park now managed to get us forward um, much much better but I've, I've banged this drum for a long time but we are just such a better team with Callum Robinson on the pitch would be that whether he's up front or if he's um, drifting in from wide I think he's he's a unique kind of player really in, in, in those positions for us um, the way that he manages to link up play the way that he always looks forward he's not scared of a tackle um, he's got a pretty good passing range on him for who, someone who's dubbed as a striker and what an unbelievable finish for his first goal uh, picked the ball up from deep bombed forwards and then that first time volley is he really does have that kind of that magic moment in him I feel Robinson and let's just hope that he he hopes to stay with us for you know the long haul be that in the championship or the premier league next season um yeah let's keep our feet on the ground there's still a mountain to climb here um it's going to take some massive performances akin to the one that we've seen today to to stay in the premier league and no one should get ahead of themselves and think that means that our seasons our seasons turned around now um but it provides a little bit of hope and if nothing else it's certainly a, a good memory to take away from what's been a pretty poor season yeah five goals three points and we're not done yet you know who knows if we can get a couple more of them we're going in the right direction come on Albion um, it's a tough one for me to kind of praise Allardyce because 
I think there's a lot to praise, but this is just going to serve as more ammunition to keep him at the club. And I think you know a lot of West Brom fans want him to stay. I can completely understand that. Um, for me, I want a, a project manager to come in and, and change the entire philosophy of, of where we're going and take a few years in the championship if we need to. Um, Big Sam said that he wants to, if we go down when, when we do, um, he, he wants to bring us up immediately first season and we're in danger of deja vu really same thing as this season where we're not going to have uh, the squad or the back in to, to do it straight away so for me if we go down when we go down it's got to be a project manager that's going to be young and shape the club for me um, but yeah let's just bask in the, the celebrations from this incredible incredible game boing boing